I don't remember. What seven was days. that? Seven days was. Uh, oh, they get the news from like a week no. in the future. We talked about this on the show before, but seven days is uh, uh, like uh, Anthony uh, Lat- Lataglia or something. He's, oh, he's we like haven't a, talked about. There's that. like a yeah, four brothers or three oh, brothers. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right, right, right. So you can go back in time seven days. Right, right, right. With this machine that you have to balance from the inside like a ping pong ball. Right. Uh, very similar to the contact machine. And, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so he can only go back in time seven days and he has to prevent things from happening. Hell yeah, dude. I'll just go back in time and fuck, dude. Yeah. Seven days. <laughs> I would just go on dates days. and, like, it'd just be, like, a really shitty version of Groundhog Day, I guess, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. I feel like anybody that goes back in time, like, you think, like, oh, you know, stop Hitler or do anything, really. But it's, like... You would go back in time and realize how inexpensive things were comparatively, yeah. Uh, yeah. and you would just enjoy your life. Yeah. I would, buy like Apple stock. We would just buy all of the Lower East Side if we go back yeah. in time. Yeah, yeah. Like we would. You know like, how fucking yeah. easy it would have been if you could do basic math and you were literate to be yeah. a fucking millionaire businessman. Andrew Carnegie didn't finish school past like seventh grade. Oh, none of those guys. Yeah, Vander Cornelius Vanderbilt didn't either. Yeah, yeah. No, there was also no laws back then, at re- like regulating finance. Right. So like pump and dump schemes were like yeah that's fair game yeah which is weird because all the SEC, monopoly yeah so many sec rules are like because somebody figured out a way that like capitalism is broken that you can just cheat right and then they cheated for a while and they're like ah, i guess we should make this illegal yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because there's nothing really morally wrong with that you mm-hmm. know to fucking say hey everybody invest in this stock and you get the stock price to go up and then you don't invest in it anymore yeah you know? you're ripping i mean yeah off. and that's like the premise of all flash trading it just yeah. with that you're supposed to like not know whether it's going to go up or down. Yeah. Um, so as long as there's uncertainty, as long as you're not definitely yeah yeah ripping I, them off. I, that would be great. Dude, we're to business go back then. experts. Yeah. I could fucking do that shit, dude. I could buy property. If you were in Wall Street in like fucking 1880, the guy you're going up against for promotion, like he's gonna die because he doesn't wash his hands. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, if you know basic things, you're fucking set. Yeah. I would die quick as hell, dude. I would eat some fucking rotten pork chops or some shit. Because it's just like... I would spend bad. so much time in those fucking Chinese opium, opium dens. dens. <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. Constantly. Hell fucking yeah. yes. Do nothing but have awesome haircuts, mm-hmm. cool spats, <laughs> and getting sucked off in a Chinese opium yeah. den high as shit. You can't do Dude, fuck yeah. It would, for me, it would be all opium dens... Building railroads, yeah, 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 and lifting big triangular weights. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. So fucking cool, dude. Yeah. You got to get a cool mustache, yeah. shave your oh, head, hell yeah. wear one of those bathing suits that covers your entire body. Yeah, yeah you can't romper. be indecent at the beach, <laughs> at the segregated beach. You don't want to offend anybody <laughs> with your nude body at the beach where blacks and Chinese yeah, yeah. are banned. You could, well, you, they could be there as chairs, yeah, but otherwise. You would be like a fucking Olympic gold medalist in everything because everyone you're competing against like doesn't know that you're not supposed to drink two pints of beer before. <laughs> right, you right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, Babe Fuck Ruth yeah, was dude. just drunk his entire career. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh and my he god. He was the best. I would be the best football player. Everyone everyone like the linemen were like two hundred pounds. Football back then. was fucked up yeah. back Although then. Although you weren't you didn't have helmets. Yeah, yeah. So it was just like punching you and shit like that. Well, you know what's crazy is like you know how you watch movies and they say no animals were harmed in the making of this film? Mm-hmm. You know, you go back like 20 years, they would just kill animals in films. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a, a, like a, a even bigger like Hollywood thing was like stunt men. They used to just kill them all the time. Jesus <laughs> They would Christ. fucking just die and they'd like put their bodies in a dumpster behind the fucking studio. <laughs> it was like an extremely dangerous job. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. I'll have to be a stunt man. Yeah. People like the Queensboro Bridge. I think something like nine people died making that bridge. Jesus And it's Christ. like... Nobody's favorite bridge. Yeah, just, <laughs> nobody can. It sucks to really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's the shittiest. It's fine. Bridge. It's like if people died building the Epcot Center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, but uh, but yeah, the the wages were actually a lot more fair than people think. I went to the Transit Museum. Um, choo choo. Uh, <laughs> seven bucks. Just something drew you there. Yeah, yeah. Something well, deep inside. I had you. some time to kill, and uh, in between age twenty and age thirty, <laughs> <laughs> so I made my way over to the transit museum, and uh, well, it's like there's this uh, plaque on the wall, or like you know, like a fucking info, you say, post, whatever the fuck yeah. it's called, and uh, it's like, uh, like here. Uh, 
these guys would get paid, uh, you know, 50 cents a day for this work or something. And then they have like the prices of everything. And it's like a new hat cost uh, five cents, right. you know, and it's like, so well, that hat rich. now would cost me like the entirety of like a week's paycheck at least. Right. Yeah. Right, right, you know, right, it's right, a right. fucking hat, like a nice bowler nice hat felt, is like $700. Yeah. <laughs> right, so right. that was a portion of their day's pay. A beer was a penny. Right. You know? So it's like they were doing fine. Yeah. You know, their your rent was fucking four dollars a year. <laughs> yeah. And like, can you believe how little they got paid? Yeah, tenement life was nice, dude. I lived in a fucking tenement. I went to the te- I went to the tenement museum. They're like, Can you believe these conditions? I'm like, Absolutely I can. <laughs> I fucking, and plenty of like Chinese people still live in those conditions and no one gives a shit. Because they true. all look the same.